when the Trump Plaza closed in 2014, it was something that was really the end of an era. As I mentioned, three decades. Outside of what used to be Trump Plaza in Atlantic City is where I met Levi Fox, a historian from Summers Point who is a walking encyclopedia. He lives for telling history. And before Donald Trump became the president elect, Levi created what is known as Donald Trump's heritage gambling tour over the summer. In the wake of the Taj Mahal closing in October, uh, I really marked a kind of end of a particular historical period in Atlantic City since 1984. There was always a Trump branded casino open in Atlantic City until just this October. Now, of course, I wanted to know if this tour was favorable for Trump supporters, and Levi was adamant that his tour is all about the facts. It is not based on politics. And I'm like, really? Um, that's hard to say. Um, and he said he has done extensive research on Trump's error in Atlantic City. To give you, again, a sense of the original ending, where Mr. Trump's name has now been blocked out because of the uh, publicity associated with that particular rally in July. Oh. Right before uh, the rally in July, uh, Donald Trump said, oh, that's not up to par with my standards and made sure that his name was not on any of the building. And you can kind of see where his name is faded. Regardless of your political persuasion, see how I strategically did not answer your question, but rather pivoted to what I felt I wanted to talk about. He says, don't be too fast to say that Donald Trump's run was a failure. Some of Mr. Trump's practices in Atlantic City, uh, folks have suggested, are uh, maybe not, uh, you know, illegal by any stretch. So he, you know, followed the letter of the law to, to, to uh, you know, great degree and uh, was very smart in, in taking, you know, funding out of Atlantic City when he did. So right now, Levi is doing tours mainly on Saturdays. You can reach out to him on JerseyShoreTours.com. Uh, it runs for about 90 minutes. They're $16 per person. Now that he's president, though, is, is his tour oh, he blowing says, up? He says it's taken off. That's how bad it has. It has taken off. Talking about hitting pay dirt, right? But now Atlantic City is a dump. Um, I was there this morning. Plenty of casinos are closed. The city's struggling, and people are overtaxed. So I wouldn't necessarily re recommend that as a vision of the country's future. Certainly, I think the government had a huge role in the failure of Atlantic City. But back to Donald Trump, it, he says take it for what it's worth. Yeah. You could look at it as he was smart to take out his money from Atlantic City while he did. I just love how many people are making money off of the Donald Trump <laughs> presidency. I bet there are a ton of other people all across the nation making big bucks off the businessman. He's smart. You know what he is? Oh the God. capitalist of the week. Way to go, Levi. I love it. Good. Whoa. That is some group of people.